Greetings! I want to talk a little bit about making a basic elastic waist skirt, um, particularly for those who are interested in trying to dress modestly and have um, not a whole lot of sewing knowledge. This is one of the easiest things you can do. It is a great starter project for you to learn how to sew. You don't even need a pattern to do this. I'm going to try to explain this a little bit as an overview. Um, give you an idea with a little in miniature that I have and then also have some skirts I'm in the process of making for myself that hopefully I'll be able to film some steps as I do those. But to give you a basic overview here, your basic elastic waist skirt, it can be straight or it can be really full. Um, straight's usually when it's cut very similar to say your hip measurement is your biggest measurement you'll cut a little bigger than that say your waist measurement is your biggest then you'll cut a little bit bigger than that but from there on it will hang literally straight down your body and you can cut it to where it's a whole lot bigger and it'll be more of a full or gathered skirt whatever you like but a basic straight elastic waist skirt you can put elastic or um, waistbands and zippers and stuff in well, it's a little more complicated. It's still not hard, but it's more complicated. This is a better way to start. And frankly, elastic is a pretty comfy thing. Um, all this elastic waist skirt is, is two large rectangles of fabric. Now fabric usually comes in 45 widths or 60 widths. Sometimes you'll have you know, 55 or an odd number in between. But it depends on how big of a person you are. You might be able to get your skirt, if you're a very thin person, off of about a yard of fabric. If you're a little bit on the plus size, or like me, on the very plus size, you're probably going to need a couple yards. Um, maybe even, you know, two and a half yards, depending on how long you like them. And to give you just a little bit of wiggle room. What the basics of a skirt is, is your two pieces of your two rectangles of fabric with your side seams sewn up. You'll turn a casing up here at the top for your elastic and then at the bottom you're going to turn a hem. That's really all it amounts to and it's not very many steps at all. To figure out what you're going to need to cut, you need to know what your biggest body measurement is. How big around are your hips and how big around are your is your waist. If you're like me, your hips are by far way bigger. Um, for a rough example, say a person has hips that are 40. Personally, I would love that. But say you have 40 inch hips, you don't want to cut your fabric so it's only 40 inches. Because a couple problems with that, you need room to move, you need it to be loose and modest. There's always a little bit of extra room, even for somebody who wears their clothes too tight, there's still going to be an inch or two of what they call ease built in which is the difference in the amount of the fabric you have versus the difference in your body. If you want to go a little more modest, I wouldn't go, I think five inches of ease is about minimum I would use. When I make my skirts, I make them a whole lot bigger, but I'm doing more of a gathered skirt instead of a straighter, closer fit skirt. This is a little straighter and won't use as, you know, more fabric than necessary. But say you're using a 5 inch ease and your hips are 40 inches. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take, because you're going to do two panels of fabric, so you're going to have to divide this out. So half of 40 is 20, and half of the 5 inch ease that you need to add is 2.5. You also need to figure your seam allowance on either side. Generally, people use 5 eighths of an inch for seam allowances, but because this is something you're doing, that is your own thing, you're not following a pattern, it's very straightforward, and for the purposes of making it a little simpler, simpler I used 0.5, so a half an inch seam allowance. You add that for each side. Total you get 23.5. That means you're going to cut both of your pieces of fabric 23.5 inches wide. That may sound complicated, but it's really not that hard. And the closer you want your fit, the harder it's going to be and the more accurate you have to be. If you're like me, in your waist or your hip measurement, you go with that. I go with way bigger. In fact, I use the entire cut of the fabric for um, my width. It means that I have probably twice the amount of width I need of my skirt. 
but it's just a very gathered, very full, full skirt, and I don't have to worry about it fitting. Um, but if you have, say, your two pieces, and then you cut them 23.5 wide, when you go to sew this up, you're going to take 23.5, 23.5, and add it together, and you'll have 47 inches. And you're going to have 2 inches total in seam allowance, and that's the .5 on either side twice, because you lose that .5 from your front piece and .5 for your back piece, and same on the other side. So you're going to subtract 2 inches from your seam allowance, and that means that your finished product, you're going to have 45 inches wide skirt, which is your 40 inch hip, plus your 5 inches of ease. Hopefully that makes sense and isn't too fast. <laughs> um, length is a little easier to figure because you only need to add a couple things. Say your desired length is 30 inches long. Um, I cut mine more like 40 lately, but I'm cutting them to be really, really high up on my waist. Not even on my waist, but really high because I'm pregnant and I'm making them to rest on the top part of my belly. So, I've been going with a measurement of 40. You'll probably want more something like 30. And depending on how tall you are, you know, and how long you want your skirts. But you're, that's, say that's your desired length. Say you're going to put a 2 inch hem in the bottom. And that's flexible. You can change that if you don't want to. Say your elastic casing is going to be an inch and a half. Or, sorry, inch, 1 inch and a quarter. Add those together. You get 33.25 inches long. And that's how long of a cut you're going to make. So, you just want to make sure your panels are, you know, 23.5 wide and 33.25 long. And, of course, this is going to vary for each individual person, but that kind of gives you an idea how you can take your body measurements and make, you know, your basic elastic weight skirt. It's really not that hard to figure out. Um, if you have any questions, please email me, and I can help you kind of figure out roughly what you need to cut. And... I would say again, I recommend that one of the easiest things you can do is just make a couple cuts of your fabric and just use the fabric's width and then make it really full and gathered and you'll never have to worry about it. But perhaps you don't want to use that material or, or you don't want it to be very heavy or what have you. So I understand and went with more of a, a straight fit. If you're a very thin person and you do a very straight skirt, with a very straight fit, you may find that the bottom is just a little bit too tight and that's why people put the splits in the back and you may get into something like that. And for modesty, you really don't want a big long split in there. You'd be better off with a vent which has a kind of a wedge shaped piece of fabric in there. But again, that's going to complicate it. So that's why I recommend going with more, more ease and what I add to mine probably wouldn't even be called ease. It's just called a lot of extra fabric. But it just makes for a very full skirt. And it's actually very simple to cut out too. So that's the basics on figuring out what you're going to need to cut. If you are cutting that 33.25 inches long. And then you've got that 23.5. Say you have a fabric that's the 45 in width. You're going to be very close. You could almost squeeze it into that yard of fabric, but you're probably going to find that you're going to run into the selvage of the fabric, and you do not want to use the selvage of the fabric in your skirt. You always cut that selvage off. It looks like a good strong edge to sew on, but you don't want it because a lot of times it's going to shrink at a different rate than the rest of the fabric because it's got a different weave and it will make your skirt pull and you do not want to do that so make sure you cut your selvage off even if it means you have to buy two or two and a half yards of fabric to get your skirt in there it's going to be a lot better than a skirt that just looks terrible and believe me I've had that happen even with fabrics that I didn't think would shrink at all they shrank up and that selvage just shrank at a completely different rate and it just looked terrible so keep that in mind and make sure you cut your selvages off and you figure your fabric correctly. I think a lot of people, unless you're really thin, are probably going to need about two yards to do your basic skirt. But that's really not a lot of fabric. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video and talk a little bit more about doing one in miniature. Have a blessed day.